happy sunday beautiful people welcome back to my channel for yet another video and if you're new here thank you for joining in i am t from betty and brenda and i make bath and body products as always if you want the recipe for this particular soap you can check it out in the description box and yes this is another soaping video I know I am I promise I am going to get to showing you some videos of for, of some other products but I wanted to go ahead and get this Halloween type soap in before spooky season is over so as always I am adding my oatmeal to my soap and I'm going to add some buttermilk powder as well Here is my light solution and I am using all aloe vera juice today. I also have in here some sugar, sodium lactate and some tuss of silk. Like all of my soaps, I am soaping at 80 to 85 degrees. I just couldn't seem to get this dark enough so I added some more and then you'll see in a second that I added a little bit more but you want to be careful when you're doing this to make sure you're not adding so much that you're changing the color of your lather so guys I am curious I um I do enjoy Halloween my daughter absolutely loves Halloween but I have to admit Christmas is my favorite holiday season around this time of year what is yours is it Halloween Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay guys, so the fragrance that I'm using for this soap is Blackberry Ambrosia. And it is described as a fruity and floral blend enhanced by hints of sugary sweet notes at the base. It is a unisex soap. And just so you know, I should have added that fragrance before I put the black in, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but it has top notes of blackberry and apple complemented by middle floral notes with melon and sugar at the bottom. So for this soap, it is, um, I'm doing it in sections. So as you can see there, I did the in the pot swirl to put that black in and I poured it in the bottom. So this is the first section of the soap. I let that set up for a bit and then I came in and I sort of scooped it over to the side because I want it to look like a mountain. So just take my spoon over there once it's set up a bit and I'm scooping that over to the side. So my next step is to add this beautiful red cat in on, on, and set it on top of, you know, the quote unquote mountain. And I just used Trial by Fire, which is a gorgeous red to put in soap. And I placed it in a cat column mold that I just got off Amazon, but it made a beautiful cat that I sat on top there. I 
have just some shredded white soap that I paste, I placed in my uh, base of my black and I want that to look like a starry sky. So you see what, where this is going, right? So it's pretty much just a red cat sitting on top of a mountain under a starry sky. And I'm pouring that there after my cat has sat there for a moment on top of the bottom part of my soap. For this soap, I didn't want any type of swirls on the top. I didn't want to scoop anything over. So if you're ever looking just for anything different to do to the top of your soap, I always find that I love a little fork texture. It is so cute on the top of the soap. I am doing it at a um, like diagonally, but of course you can do it straight or any other kind of way just to add a different variation to the top of your soap. In hindsight, I should have put a moon in the soap, <laughs> but since I didn't, I am taking some little um, moon glitter and placing it on top of the soap. And as you'll see in a second, I'm taking the super sparkle here and I'm putting that on the top of the soap as well. Cause you know, the sky has to look like it has little diamonds in it, right? I waited two days before I actually cut the soap just to make sure it was nice and firm and look at it isn't that just super cute I love it it absolutely looks like a red cat sitting on top of a mountain under a starry sky if you like this soap as well please give my video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this soap in the comment section below If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will chat with you next week. Have a blessed week. Bye.